What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a $5 million buy-in and they gave us 4,000 quarters to get started today. Extremely expensive game but luckily they gave us quite a few quarters to get started with. Yeah, I don't think there's any quarters in there in the machine at all today so we got to fill up the machine with quarters ourselves. Which shouldn't be that hard to do considering we got like 4,000 quarters. But uh, anyway, it might be a pretty difficult game though because they got like the world's biggest uh, wall or castle of chips in there. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a tower like this in uh, the three and a half, four years I've been playing the High Limit Coin Brushers. So yeah, this is absolutely amazing. The bottom layer, all those orange chips, those are all $10,000 chips. And all the brown and white chips, those are all $25,000 chips. And uh, the pinkish purple chips up top there, those are all $5,000 chips. And I think they had two stacks of cash on the pusher back there. We don't got those to fall down to the lower shelf. And uh, let's see, they got some $1,000 and $5,000 chip towers on the blue shelves, two mystery bags. The ginormous dollar sign mystery bags, those are usually loaded up real good. So yeah, we definitely have the potential to make a lot of money today. So let's see, should we just go ahead and start rapid firing a bunch of quarters in there? Honestly, I feel like that's our best bet for getting this big old tower to crash down anytime soon. Nice, there we go, do you see that? That was awesome, there we go. Wow, it's pushing super good. That's going to go right there. Nice, we got it. Some of it got stuck down here, though. That's all right. All right, let's get the loot chute emptied out again. Keep an eye on that loot chute because it easily gets too full. Oh, yeah, nice. Check this out. We got that uh, brown mystery bag that was behind that great big old tower. Uh, feel like I might have seen it, but I just didn't point it out, so sorry about that. But uh, anyway, let's try to get this humongous towers on the left and the right hand side. There's uh, two stacks of cash in the middle about to go into the pay. Oh wow, we got a truckload of gold right there, did you see that? That was awesome sauce right there. This is doing super well today. Oh nice, we got the cash out of there. Let's get those out of the loot chute right quick. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got all that cash cleared out of the uh, loot chute. So uh, hopefully we can knock down these ginormous towers now. Yeah, I feel like there's only a stack of gold holding up this big old tower over here on the right hand side. You see it? If we can get that stack of gold to push forward, the whole entire thing's just going to collapse down. And uh, there could be something nice hidden inside of the big old towers. A couple more mystery bags or some dice would be pretty sweet. Alright, well, we'll see what that does right there. Hopefully, it gives us a really, really good push. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, that center's pushing really good. We need to focus on the sides now, I think. I think that's our best bet anyway. Oh, yeah. One thing I have been noticing, those uh, $10,000 chips at the base of that big old tower on the right and possibly the one on the left, uh, they're starting to slide out a little bit, which is good. Now we've got so many quarters still. But I think we are going to need some uh, $1 chips today. Yeah, the $1 chips, those are worth like 500 three quarters for each one of them. So hopefully they got some of those hidden inside uh, that big old mystery bag that we just won. Oh yeah, nice, there we go, we got that stack of chips, that tower's going to go, I think. Oh yeah, look at that, it's leaning toward the uh, left hand side. Yeah, I've never seen a tower like that before. I've been playing these machines for going on four years, the high limit ones anyway. Oh nice, there we go. Hoping we can get the one on the left side to go as well. Oh yeah, there it goes. Nice, we got it. Wow, that is awesome. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Avalanche, jackpot, baby. Sweet. Alrighty, I'm back. So I got that loot chute all cleared out. My goodness, there was a ton of gold. 
ton of 5,000, 10,000, and 25,000 chips in there. Uh, I wouldn't surprise me if we've already made that $5 million back, so we're doing remarkably well today. So while we got some uh, chips and gold over there on the rocks, I'm thinking we should just load up the left-hand side while there's a little bit of weight on the rock. Because I'm really, really going to try to get this humongous tower over here. Alright, well, let's see what that does. That was a good amount of quarters I just dropped in there. Oh no, they're getting stuck in there. Yeah, that's nothing abnormal. They usually get stuck if you put a bunch of them in there at once. They always end up breaking free eventually within a couple of minutes or a couple seconds. So, uh,. How much money do y'all think is in this ginormous tower right here? Like, there's some gold down here at the base of it. Well, I can see that a lot better when I'm looking at the camera. Yeah, there is a ton of gold at the base of that tower. That's why it's not really moving. The one on the right, we technically got all that gold to slide out from under the base of it in no time. All right, let's rapid fire this whole entire basket of quarters. Are you ready for this? It's gonna be awesome. Oh my goodness, wow, that was a ton of gold right there. Check that out. All right, let's see what all those quarters do. Come on, big push. Now we really, really need this big old tower on the left side to get going. Yeah, that is my main target for the moment. Now we're going to get all that money and gold on the right side any second now. Oh nice, nice, there we go. That was an excellent push right there. So uh, be sure you leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far. Let's try to get to 10,000 likes today. 10,000 likes. I know we can get there. Just need all y'all watching to uh, hit that thumbs up button. It's 100% free. It won't cost you any money at all. It lets me know that you're enjoying the video. And uh, the more likes we can get, the better the video tomorrow. So that's how that works. For example, if we can get to that 10,000 likes within uh, 24 hours of this video being posted to YouTube, tomorrow I will try a $50 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. So yeah, you're definitely going to want to see that video. So be sure you get me to 10,000 likes. It's really up to you all. Now we got a whole bunch of quarters built up in there, over there on the right hand side. Yeah, I'm trying to push like as far left as possible. That's what's going to get this tower on the left, I think. Yeah, we're winning quite a bit out of here for 4,000 quarters. If you're wondering how I can win all that stuff that is on the blue shelf, now there's actually two main ways I could win all that stuff. The first way I could pay two times the original buy-in, and today that would be a uh, $10 million buy-in. I'd pay that extra $10 million and they'd put all that stuff into the play field for free. But uh, sometimes we get super, super lucky and there's a $5 chip inside one of the mystery bags. And if we win that $5 chip, we get to turn it in. And uh, they'll take all that stuff that is on there, they'll put it into the play field for free. Wouldn't cost us a dime at that point. So yeah, hopefully that mystery bag that we won has a $5 chip in there. And there might have been some more mystery bags that uh, fell out of that big old castle tower. Just let me know if you've seen any down in the comments. I would appreciate that. I wish you all could see this. This is a huge mountain of chips and gold and quarters and uh, whatever else is down there. Yeah, I've got this big old box that catches all this stuff that falls out of the uh, payout chute down there and that box is already overflowing. I mean, just look at the quarters we're winning. That's insane. All right, well, matter of fact, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's see what it does. Come on, big money. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and check out that mystery bag. How does that sound? All right, here's that mystery bag. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. Feels like it's loaded up really, really good. So this is very, very exciting. Oh my gosh, nice, check this out. We got, looks like four of the $1 chips. So that's an extra 2,000 quarters right there. Remember earlier I said each one of these is 500 quarters. So yeah, that's 2,000 extra quarters, that is awesome. And uh, check this out, we also got the $5 chip, so I get to turn that in. They'll put all that stuff that is on the blue shelves here into the play field, so that is incredible. Yeah, I don't know if we should continue pushing to try to get this big old tower on the left. I'm thinking, what if we turn in that $5 chip and say they put all those towers on the pusher, it might help us get this big old tower to fall down. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking of stuff. So anyhow, I think we should go ahead and turn in all these chips right here. And uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip and all four of them $1 chips. They gave me 2,000 extra quarters. And uh, they took all those chips that was on the blue shelves and the two Mr. Bags. And they put them all into the play field. Looks like they put the two Mr. Bags in pretty good locations. And uh, they took like all those chips and gold that was in there and combined them all into like one great big old tower over here on the left hand side of the pusher so that is the best possible spot for it I think because uh, whenever we get it to go it's going to crash into this tower right here and that could potentially knock down both of the towers so anyway wish me the best of luck hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here Well, we got one of them mystery bags to go already, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know. Do y'all think this is going to work out once this big old tower falls? It's going to crash into this one, definitely. But the question is, is it going to get this big old tower to go that's down here on the lower shelf? Oh my goodness. Well, we're about to find out. It's literally right there on the edge, about ready to go into the payout chute. Alright, had to get that loose chute cleared out. It's getting pretty full with quarters. So we got both of the mystery bags already. That is awesome. So I'll check out both of them mystery bags here after a while. Oh yeah, that tower's teetering back and forth. I think we're going to get it to go, you all. Any second now. Come on, big push. Oh my goodness, it got stuck against the glass. Well, that plan didn't really work out too well, but uh, hey, at least we got that big old tower on the pusher to go, though. Fell toward the right-hand side. That is insane. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a tower do that in a very long time, where it like falls over toward the right side or to the left side. That's insane. I'm used to the towers either falling uh, forward or backwards. Alright, let's get that loose chute cleared out. Oh my goodness. Wow, the loose chute was getting really, really full. We got some more chips out of there. So if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this awesome video today, uh, be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon, that way you get notified for future videos. I post videos every single day, seven days a week, so trust me, you're not going to want to miss out on these awesome videos. Yeah, there's lots of uh, large buy-in videos, lots of large towers, so many quarter towers, poker chip towers. So yeah, you're definitely not going to want to miss out on these videos each day, so be sure you're subscribed to the channel have the uh, post bell notifications turned on. Well, I don't know about this big old tower on the left. It's definitely being pretty stubborn at the moment. Alright, well, I think we should go ahead and open up the two Mr. Bags. How does that sound? Alright, I'm back. So here's both of those John Norman's Dollar Sign Mr. Bags. Which one should we open up first? I'm going to let you all pick. Well, I feel like a bunch of y'all are telling me to open up this one over here on the left. So let's go ahead and check it out. See if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. Feels like it's loaded up pretty good. This is very, very exciting right here. Oh my goodness, wow. Check this out. We got the $50 chip, the mystery money keychain. So this right here is worth a dollar all the way up to $1 billion. That is super, super exciting right there. 
And uh, this $50 chip, we get to cash this in. They'll take everything that has fallen down those side slots. There's one over here on the left side also, but the tower's blocking the view. And uh, they'll put it all back into the play field for us to have another chance of winning it. So that is awesome sauce right there. We got two more $1 chips. That's another 1,000 quarters. We got two golden dice and one white dice. The gold dice, we get to roll them whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. And the white dice, we get to roll that whatever it lands on. My uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely incredible. All right, so now it's time for that other mystery bag. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's any good and valuable stuff in there. Now, I must say, it feels like it's loaded up pretty good. Feels like there's a couple chips in there. Maybe a couple dice. I don't know. Let's see. Let's check it out and see what we got. Oh, my goodness. Wow, check this out. We got a whole bunch more dice, and we got a whole bunch more $1 chips as well. So, we got four more $1 chips. So, that's 2,000 more quarters. That is awesome. We got three more white dice, two more golden dice. So, yeah, this is going to be an excellent win today, I can already tell you that. Probably won't be a new record win, I don't think, but uh, it's, we're, we still should be able to pull a good profit out of here anyway. You get what I'm trying to say. So anyhow, I think we should go ahead and uh, call them back here to see if they can like rearrange this tower or something before we cash in that $50 chip. Because I don't think it's going to go. It's like severely stuck against the glass right here, so we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and uh, they ended up rearranging that whole entire tower that was on the left hand side. They took all the chips and combined those into a humongous tower of chips on the pressure back there. The bottom layer, the majority of those are $5,000 chips. Middle layer, that's all the $25,000 chips. And they put those uh, $10,000 chips up top there. So it's a pretty massive tower. We should be able to make some pretty good money off of that once we get it to go and all that gold that was at the very base of that big old tower they just uh, build it into two more towers of gold obviously you can see them in there so yeah wish me good luck hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here today and after we do win all this stuff i will uh, turn in that 50 dollar chip and all them one dollar chips we'd won so stay tuned for that don't go nowhere yet still got a a lot of gameplay left. Yeah, I've been playing this game for uh, roughly three and a half hours now. Camera says three hours, 29 minutes, and 19 seconds. So just a few seconds away from three and a half hours. So yeah, for you all, the video is probably about 20 or 25 minutes. Maybe a little bit more, maybe less. I don't know, but I do edit out all the boring parts in the videos whenever nothing's really moving or anything like that. So I try to keep these videos top notch and try to keep them entertaining as possible. Entertaining as possible. So anyway, let's see. That big old tower on the pusher, it's lost a ton of chips at the base of it already. Yeah, we might get that thing to go like any second now. All right, let's. Put a whole handful of quarters in there. That should get it more than likely. Nice, there it goes, and it took out one of the gold towers as well. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby! Check that out. Avalanche of chips and gold right there. Wow, that was a landslide of five thousand dollar chips, twenty-five thousand dollar chips. Couldn't ask for a better waterfall than that. That was awesome. So uh, leave me a guess in the comments. Let me know how much money you think I'm going to win today from a $5 million buy-in. I mean, that's pretty expensive, I know, but it's nowhere near as expensive as the game I played uh, the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, I did a billion dollar buy-in. And uh, just in case you missed that video, I will uh, make that video pop up on the end screen of this video. It'll show up and it'll be like $1 billion buy-in, high limit coin pressure. All you got to do is click on the little box and uh, it will take you right to that brand new video. Or the video from two days ago. So, Yeah, I just thought I should let you all know that. Yeah, I'm going to finish out these quarters, just try to get this tower on the right side to get moving. But uh, if we don't get it to go within the next couple minutes, I will uh, go ahead and turn in the $50 chip. 
Yeah, this makes like two or three days in a row we've won that $50 chip, so that is super, super fortunate right there. That $50 chip is always pleasant to win, because uh, we definitely lose tons of chips to them side slots on the left and the right side. And when the loot chute fills up too much, it goes down this little gap that's like right up above the loot chute, and it would go to the exact same location as the side slots would go to. And I'm sure we all know where that goes. It goes to the house. And uh, I don't get a win or keep any of that unless we win the $50 chip. And even then, we're not guaranteed to win everything that they put back in there because it could fall right back down the side slot again on the next round. But the odds are they put it back in there, you're going to win the majority of it. And uh, it's actually a very, very exciting chip to win because say if a couple other people or a hundred people for all I know had played on this machine before I got here today then uh, they'll take the stuff that they lost if nobody else has won the $50 chip and they'll put all that stuff into my game so yeah, that loot box of theirs could be loaded up with a bunch of valuable stuff like chips, gold, dice, mystery bags, you never know. So anyhow I think we should just go ahead and call it quits right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn in the $50 chip, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $50 chip, and all six of them $1 chips, they gave me 3,000 more quarters, which is absolutely outrageous. I put a quarter count up to about, oh gosh, 50, 900 of them. Close to 6,000 quarters, so that is extremely good right there. And uh, they took all that stuff that had fallen down in the gutters today. They put it all back into the play field. They even got a ginormous uh, purple mystery bag on the pusher back there. Kind of looks like a brand new mystery bag to me. I don't think I've ever seen a purple mystery bag like that in there before. I've seen a dark uh, purple mystery bag that's similar to the ones that they had in there for the past couple years. But uh, that mystery bag right there looks like a whole different top of mystery bag oh nice there we go that big old skyscraper of gold just fell backwards check that out we also lost 50 grand to the blue shell so uh, that would cost an extra 100 grand to have them put that back in there unfortunately but I mean it'll be worth it because uh, all those white dots that we've won uh, that 50 grand sitting on the blue shelf is probably like half a million dollars you know what I'm saying it depends on what those dice total up to and uh, the hundred grand that I'd be spending for that would be coming out of my account, not my winnings. If I was spending a hundred grand out of my winnings to get that fifty grand, then it wouldn't be worth it at all. Because a hundred grand multiplied by whatever the dice land on would be much better than the dice multiplying fifty grand. You know what I mean? But the money would be coming out of my account, so therefore it would be worth it paying more to get less. If you get what I'm trying to say. Well, anyhow, uh, I think they added more gold to that big old tower of gold. They rearranged that big old tower. They put it in the center, and it seems like they added, like, at least 15 or 20 more ounces of gold on top of that thing. So all that gold was probably the gold that had fallen down in them gutters today. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm wanting to try to get this mystery bag right here before I pay the extra 100 grand. But we do need to get that loot chute cleared out first. So let's do that, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. I got the loot chute all cleared out. So now I'm going to try to get this mystery bag over here on the left-hand side. It is severely close to the edge. Yeah, whatever's in there, it might be pretty massive because uh, Mr. Bag got stuck against the wall there, or the glass, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we really, really need that Mr. Bag to fall down, though. Well, you want to know something? If I call them back here to have them uh, rearrange this Mr. Bag since it's stuck against the glass, they might also reset all that other stuff that is in there, such as the 50 grand on the right, 
and possibly the blue shell. No, actually, I think I tried that before, and uh, if anything's lost to the blue shell, you got to pay that extra hundred grand to get it back. But I think I will call them back here just to see if they will uh, rearrange this mystery bag because it is stuck in there. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So surprisingly, they actually counted that mystery bag as a win. So we got super, super lucky on that one. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Wow. Check this out. We got two more white dice and we also got a $10 chip. Oh my goodness, so somebody probably lost this to the gutter or because of that loot shoe getting too full. Or who knows, maybe I lost this chip today. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. So if you don't know what this is for, and we get to cash this in, they'll let me spin this wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, it's what type of brand new tower or towers they'll build somewhere in the machine. So you know what, this right here gets us out of paying that extra hundred grand. Whenever I turn this in, they'll automatically put that 50 grand back in here. So that is exceptional right there. So anyhow, I think we should just go ahead and turn this in. We done got the majority of it all cleared out of there anyway. So let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $10 chip and uh, they built this humongous tower of $25,000 chips in there. The wheel landed on $25,000 chips, as you can see. That is the best possible uh, chip value it could have landed on. So this is absolutely incredible right here. Probably the world's biggest tower of $25,000 chips in there. There's a whole bunch of chips like scattered across the play field here. I guess they like didn't want to put those on top of the tower or something. Yeah, I have no clue what the reasoning was behind that, but anyhow. Uh, hopefully we can knock down this humongous tower. It's already getting pretty close to the edge of the pusher there. Won't be long it'll start losing uh, chips at the base of it. And then it'll fall down or the whole entire tower is just going to collapse down. Sometimes it completely skips uh, losing chips at the base of it. Sometimes the towers will just like collapse down without any trouble at all. So... Hopefully we can get this humongous tower. How much money do y'all think that is? Are you welcome to pause the video and zoom in on that tower and count it up if you want? I will tell you there is uh, seven chips on each row and there's probably about like 100 or 200 rows of chips. So I'm gonna say this again, there is seven $25,000 chips in each row. So that is 100 grand, 175 grand in each row. And say there's like a hundred or two hundred rows of chips there. Yeah, I don't know. You're welcome to let me know down in the comments what it is. I would appreciate that if somebody would. Oh, and also I asked them what that uh, Mr. Money keychain was worth today. You all are not going to believe this. They said it was worth $400,000. So we hit the mega jackpot big time on this game today. $400,000 for that mega money, or not mega money, $400,000 for that Mr. Money keychain, that is incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah, won't be long we're going to get this big old tower on the pressure to crash down. Yeah, I'm just going to guess that is around a uh, 10 to $15 million tower, possibly a little bit more than that. Don't really know for sure, but it sure does look like it. Honestly, surprised we was able to buy into this game for only $5 million today, considering how much stuff was in there. And honestly, I don't know if they were supposed to build a tower this massive, because it seems like on the lower buy-in games, the lower the buy-in, the smaller they make the bonus towers. So probably what they should have done was built like two like tall and skinny towers made out of $25,000 chips and put them on the pusher on the play field but instead they built this humongous tower so yeah I think whatever employee built this tower kind of messed up a little bit 
so I hope nobody gets in trouble for this one. Oh yeah, that tower is losing chips at the base of it. This lost one of them anyway. Yeah, we're going to get this thing to go really, really soon, I'm pretty sure. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, it's going to start losing some more chips at the base of it. Any time now. Come on, big money. Yeah, well I thought for sure that $50 chip round would be the very, very end of that game. Or this game right here. But luckily that $10 chip appeared out of nowhere. And also, if that chip like fell down the gutter or something, uh, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious to see if I lost that $10 chip or if somebody else had lost that $10 chip. Yeah, I'm thinking somebody else had lost that chip because uh, I don't remember seeing it in there anywhere. And I kept that loot chute cleared out pretty much at all times, so I don't think there's any way possible it fell down inside the machine because the loot chute was too full. Yeah, I have no clue. Just let me know if you've seen it down in the comments. I would appreciate that. Oh yeah, that tower's so close to going. It's literally like 10 or 15 million. Nice, there it goes. Holy moly, that was incredible. Wow, look at all that money. My goodness, we hit the mega jackpot big time on that one, baby. Wow, the amount of $25,000 chips we just won is insane. Absolutely insane. Holy moly. This is going to be an outstanding win today. Honestly, this right here might be a new record for the amount of chips I have won in a single game before. Just by them building this big old tower of $25,000 chips in there, that might have broke our record. And if they would have put like 20 of the white dots in there today, talk about billions of dollars in profit, we would have won billions. No doubt about that whatsoever. Because I'm going to say we've at least won anywhere from 25 to 50 million dollars in chips today. Probably around 30 or 40 million in chips. I'll count them all up after this and I'll let y'all know what we've won. So anyhow, that was a perfect game today. Absolutely perfect. We got it all cleared out of there. So anyhow, now I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won 10 dice in total. We got uh, 6 of the white dice and 4 of the golden dice. They'll put all 10 of them dice on the pressure back there. And we got to roll them down to this lower shelf, whatever they all land on. We're going to get the multiplier winnings in our goal by those numbers. So let's call them back here and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. And they put all 10 of them dice on the pusher. So let's roll them down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all end on some fantabulous numbers today. Well, we got a 1 and a 3 so far. The 1 does not count at all, unfortunately. So just pretend that one does not exist. However, that 3 is a win, though. And Oh, nice. There we go. We got two 5s and another 5 on that other white dice. And yeah, literally all of them landed on some pretty good numbers except for those two ones right there. The ones don't count. So anyhow, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and a goal by all this. And I'll let y'all know how much money we have made today from a $5 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely outstanding. I ended up winning $36,000. $784,000, that is the chips, the cash, and that Mr. Money keychain all put together. And the white dice today totaled up to 18, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 18. And in total, I ended up winning $662,112,000 from a $5 million buy-in. Holy smokes! I am shocked right now. I was not expecting to win anywhere near that amount of money today, especially from that low of a buy-in. Turn $5 million into $662,112,000.
Oh my goodness, that is absolutely spectacular. That is a humongous, gigantic, life-changing jackpot win today, indeed. Absolutely mind-blowing. And it doesn't end there. We also won 244 ounces of gold. And uh, the gold I stoned up to 15, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 15. And in total, I ended up winning 3,660 ounces of gold today. And uh, the spot price of gold is like 2,180 an ounce. So that means we got an extra $7,978,800 in gold. So we almost doubled our buy-in just with the gold bars alone. That is insane. Absolutely insane win right there for the gold. That is awesome. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning uh, 4,000 and 93 quarters let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount that means we got one thousand and twenty three dollars and twenty five cents and quarters i'll take it so uh, anyhow that is not bad not bad at all for a five million dollar buy-in so if y'all enjoyed today's video be sure you leave a like on the video uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post bell notifications that way you get notified for whenever i post a brand new video and also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And uh, if you want to check out another awesome video, that will appear at the top left of the screen there. And uh, lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have an excellent day.